Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about a research topic, screening of lactobacillus from various sources for production of bactericins. The authors of this paper are Sojal Mahajan, Isha Mahajan, Meghna Teli, Mr. Jitendra Rajput and Dr. Sarita Mahajani from Department of Biotechnology, Siyangar College of Engineering, Pune. This presentation includes Introduction to Bactericins as Alternatives to Traditional Antibiotics, Methodology and Results for Isolation and Screening of Lactobacillus from Sources, followed by Discussion. Introduction Bactericins are ribosomally synthesized antimicrobial peptides produced by bacteria that kill or inhibit the growth of other related or non-related bacteria. They function as a natural bacterial immune weapon system and therefore can be considered to be less toxic when compared to conventional antibiotics that are artificially synthesized. They exhibit the following characteristics. Bactericins are primary metabolites that is, they are produced during the logarithmic phase of the cell growth cycle. They help in sustainable cell growth. These are also known to show broad spectrum antagonistic activity and therefore bactericins can be seen as prospective alternatives to antibiotics. Bactericins are heat stable peptides that are able to withstand severe temperature conditions without undergoing any alteration in their function and conformation. They have also acquired the status of generally recognized as safe product by the American Food and Drug Administration and are largely used as a biopreservative in food industries. Bactericins have a unique characteristic of preventing the formation of biofilm produced by food spoiling bacteria like Listeria monocytogenes and Staphylococcus aureus, thus inhibiting their growth. One such example of a biopreservative is Sonorensin. Methodology and Results this project is broadly divided into two stages, starting with isolation. As bactericins are largely produced by lactic acid bacteria, considering the large concentrations in dairy products, raw cow and buffalo milk were taken as sources. Isolated cultures were prepared on MRS broth by initially performing spread weight technique of diluted samples with the dilution factor of the order of 10 raised to minus 13, followed by Streaking various colonies distinguished on the basis of morphology. Slants of pure isolated colonies were prepared and named numerically for further reference. This is an image of spread plate technique of a sample of cow milk with dilution factor of 10 raised to minus 13. Colonies showing different morphology were picked and streaked using four streak method to obtain pure isolated colonies. The second image shows the isolation of pure strains. These colonies were then transferred to slams. The second stage of the project is screening of the obtained strains for their antimicrobial activity. Preliminary screening was done using cross streak technique with the stadia monocytogenes as the indicator strain. In this image, Listeria monocytogenes was streaked horizontally while the three isolated strains were streaked vertically and allowed to intersect at the junction, facilitating inhibitory action on the indicator strain. It is seen that strains C2 and C4 inhibited the growth of the indicator strain, while C1 showed no antagonistic activity against it. Therefore, strains showing inhibition were selected for further analysis. A total of eight strains were obtained after preliminary screening. The selected number of strains were then subjected to secondary screening through agarbal diffusion. These were cultured for 24 hours after which 50 microliters of cell-free supernatant obtained after centrifugation were placed in each well of the nutrient agar plate. These plates were seeded with Suramana serogenosa as the indicator strain. In the image, it is seen that the strain C4 showed inhibitory action against Suramana serogenosa while C2 did not show any inhibition. After completing the analysis of 8 strains, 3 were found to be inhibiting the growth of indicator strain, namely C4, B1, B3. Discussion Further screening of the strains is now done using two more indicator strains and the characterization of bacteria in producing strains is currently being investigated. 
The reason why Listeria monocytogenes and pseudomonocytogenes are taken as indicator strains is because these are the most common foodborne pathogens affecting the quality of dairy products. The inhibitory effect shown by the microbes proved to be a turning point in the process of food preservation using living organisms. Therefore, bactericins posed to be excellent biopreservators given the number of advantages they offer on their consumption. Thank you.